President Trump tweeting this morning, the White House is functioning perfectly, focused on health care, tax cuts, reform, and many other things. I have very little time for watching TV. Well, we know the president is working to get his pro-growth agenda back on track. But yet, the Democrats, the liberal media, they are really working rather aggressively to derail his plan. They want to focus on the Russian lawyer, this meeting Donald Trump Jr. had with the Russian lawyer, and how that may be treason, how that's illegal, how that may be criminal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So how the heck do Republicans get anything done with all these distractions out there? Joining me right now, Congressman Sean Duffy. Congressman, great to have you here. Hey, it's good to be with you, Trish. Thanks all for having right. me on. So, so how do you get anything done? I mean, really. I mean, what, what are people you know, in the hallways there talking about these days? Listen, we're talking about our agenda. So though you, you, you look at other networks and you listen to Democrats, they, again, like you mentioned, talk Russia, Russia, Russia. But you look at President Trump, he's about keeping the promises that he made to the American people. Uh, whether it's the Keystone Pipeline, rolling back regulation on coal, defeating ISIS, going after North Korea, securing our border, we're working on health care reform and tax reform, all issues that are going to grow the economy. And so as the liberals are distracted with Russia, we're all about um, undoing the Obama agenda and unleashing the American economy, which means more opportunity and better wages for the American huh. worker. Realistically, you think it's going to happen? I mean, what are, what are your Senate pals telling you? So, you know, listen, the Senate went home over the 4th of July, and I'm sure they all got an earful from their constituents. <laughs> I think they are going to come back, and you see a, a motivation from the Senate to actually get a health care bill done. I mean, if they, if, if they stay their extra two weeks in August and don't accomplish this goal, um, they are going to see a, a bloodbath for them in the Senate. This is a, a long-term promise. They have to meet it, and, I'm, and listen, I'm pretty hopeful. Um, and bullish on their ability to get a, a bill out of the Senate. Uh, so I think you know, it's look, happen. I hope so. And, and the market is still pretty bullish on it right now because we're looking at be. all time highs, at least earlier in the day, for this market. Uh, let me ask you, Congressman, about Fed Chair Janet Yellen because you were the ones out there grilling her today. I want the viewers to see your exchange. Let's take a quick peek. What changes have you made since November 8th um, to kickstart this economy and make it grow that you weren't doing before November 8th? What, what changes have we made to kickstart yes. the economy? Yes. We've continued on the course that we've been on of normalizing the path of monetary policy as the economy continues yes. You haven't to changed recover. anything really since November 8th. The real change has been we have a new president in the White House. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're not going to let Janet Yellen and the Fed take any credit for the improved economic picture or the better markets. Well, uh, Trish, what you missed before that was were Democrats we're talking about you know, how, uh, how, how uh, unemployment has fallen and the stock market has risen and how great things were going. And they were uh, applauding Janet Yellen for all her great work, trying mm -hmm. to give her credit yeah. <laughs> for, this, for this economy. And I wanted to make the point, you've done nothing different, Janet Yellen, since November 8th. The real kickstart of the economy has been Donald Trump. So let's not, let's not put the focus on her. Let's make sure we give credit where credit is due, which was President Trump. We also brought up, I have a great concern about the Fed's role in our boardrooms and our financial institutions. And she said that uh, basically she, have, she has access uh, to our boardrooms um, uh, as a regulator, but she has access to everything our boards are supposed to be responsible for, um, which gives us great pause. Um, mm -hmm. And so we gave her some pushback on that. The Fed has a regulatory role, but we have our boards who have a fiduciary duty to their shareholders, which the Fed doesn't have, and we try to make that distinct, distinction for her as well. Congressman, do you think she's going to stay? I mean, there have been all these rumors maybe Gary Cohn would no. be in line. He, he seems to be <laughs> pushing, those, pushing back on those, but is she going to make it through well, I, this I, president's I, I, tenure? I brought that up to her as well. I asked her if she'd be back in front of our hearing, our, our committee testifying again, because that doesn't happen until after her term expires. Uh, she didn't want to answer that question. I would suspect that President Trump will go with another chair of the Fed, uh, other than Janet Yellen. I'm sure she's going to uh, dutifully fill out the rest of her term, but we'll have a new Fed chairman at the start of next year. That'd be my well, guess. That that would be very interesting. All right, Congressman Duffy, thank you very much. Good to have Thanks, you here. Sir.